All right, guys, here it is. So, our 1022 box run. This is the front. It's kind of grown up with some weeds right now, but of course, that's something we'll have them take care of as we get the place. Um, one thing she told me is her lockbox malfunctioned, however, that happens, and so she said she'd leave this door unlocked for me. All righty. Dark. We'll leave that open. There we go. Okay, checking this out. It has a motor, can't quite tell if it's functional or not. Appears to be functional, so that's a plus. All these homes were built late enough to where, yep, yeah, panel is good. There also is your attic access in your garage. Here we have, I know Kevin, what you're worried about are our utilities. So, it's a York unit, it is dated. It's hard to find ages on these. Ugh. No, I can't see it on this one. Um, Allenbaugh and Higginsville though, they're a, a good York dealer. But uh, an inspector would tell us the exact make and model of this system. This guy, however, has had some type of condensation, oh there it is. So condensation coming from this, coming down, and that's what's leaving this residue. So whether that's been fixed or not, I don't know, but something we could request be fixed in an inspection. Um, it is a gas-powered system, of course, and you've got a gas furnace as well. Now, let's move inside to the less boring stuff. Okay, so first we've kind of got a breezeway where we first come in. You've got your laundry hookup. You've got kind of a little rough-in sink there. This is your view from your front door once you come in the house, okay? So, turning right, you've got fireplace, lot of natural light. Um, windows look like they're all in good shape. We've got double, double paned, but not double hung, but still good windows. Looks like we have a gas starter fireplace. Over to our left here, just the lights. And then as we pull through, we got our first choice. We can either go left to the living quarters or right to the kitchen area. So they've done some upgrades to the electrical, as you can obviously tell. Now I'm just gonna follow this wall along right here so you can get a full image of the kitchen and then we'll get a little bit closer for everything. So, big kitchen space, but made a little bit smaller by the fact that it's also an informal dining space. So there's plenty of space here um, for a dining room table or in, well, what's gonna be your guys' situation, I guess, uh, a couple high chairs uh, and you can just eat around the bar. But, you know, a couple, couple options there for you. Um, backsplash, it is a tile backsplash. It's one of those fragment stickers, so a big chunk of it comes like this and they just attach all the chunks. Cabinets have been nicely redone. Wondering what's going on with that shelf there. Um, no water damage. Although it does appear as if we have a little bit of a leak. See some calcification there. Uh, we've got GFCIs where there need to be, so I like that. Um, fridge has just got a little bit of a tarnish to it. Not really dense, it just looks like scratches from maybe an overzealous kid with a bread knife or something. We're already here, let's just take in. So it's not a super big usable space, but it's a good usable space. You've got a good, looks like five foot privacy fence fire pit. You do have the shed that also gives you access straight to the road. So if you've got a golf cart or something, you just want to drive around neighborhood, you can, or motorcycle, I guess. But then of course this way, more practical for a little push lawnmower or something. Um, 
not a roofer and it's pretty darn bright so I can't see very great but the roof looks like it's in pretty good shape I can see the the repair they were talking about up there though but we'll go into the living quarters and see if we can find any sources of moisture intrusion but there be light um okay so it's set at 75 and it's 78 so we must not have it turned on okay we'll just head counterclockwise all the way around so other than the fact that this room is a lovely salmon color not too bad I like they did some sheetrock repair, needs a little paint, but I think we'd probably plan on painting this one anyhow, maybe. Um, room looks good. There's our light switch, here we go. Carpet feels newer, definitely recently cleaned if it's not newer. It's not a crazy carpet, it's probably about $1.50, $1.75 a square foot, um, just kind of above rental grade carpet. Whew. This is a very Bumblebee-esque room. Okay. Yellow and black. Those are some aggressive colors. This is probably what they're going to call the master bedroom. We have his and hers closet. But let me just double check. No, because that one's not on suite. That one has it too, though. Oh, that's right. No, how could I forget that? This one has the onset bathroom. Well, silly Logan. I guess that's what we get for not having coffee. So, big walk-in master closet. Like that. Still haven't seen any damage from uh, that roof. So, I'm thinking it's been remedied. This is a nice spaced room. Sorry, pardon my uh, attire. But it's casual Friday and... I'm living it up. Okay. Gotcha. So a nice double vanity. Shower tub insert, but in good shape. And that, guys, concludes the tour. Hope you like it. Um, can't wait to hear what you have to think.